Hello there everyone, I'm meteorologist Cassie Nall and for our Tuesday the weather really not too bad again out there. It's quite similar to what we saw on Monday with one exception. We have enough moisture in the atmosphere to spark off a couple showers. They're going to be very isolated in nature. Most folks will not end up seeing that rainfall but with that easterly wind flow it's going to bring enough moisture back across the state to produce a few light showers out there. Again, light to moderate rain at best. They'll be very brief in nature, so I don't think it's going to affect your Tuesday plans too terribly much across the Sun Coast. Just don't be surprised if you see a quick little shower here and there. And highs today, again, just like yesterday, will be about three to five degrees above average into the lower 80s. Now, if you're traveling around the U.S. for the day today, we actually have two travel trouble spots. The first is actually out west along the coast of California, really anywhere from San Francisco all the way down to L.A. and San Diego. They're seeing some very heavy rainfall and some snow in the higher elevations out there. On one hand, very beneficial. That's great for the drought situation out west. However, it is impacting the travel plan, so heads up if you're heading out west. And then here in the east, we also have our own set of travel troubles in the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. There's... Enough moisture to work with up there and cold air in place to where places like Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philly, and New York are seeing everything from rain to sleet mixed in there to freezing rain a little bit further inland and some snowfall in the higher elevation. So messy, messy travel situation in the major cities up there in the mid-Atlantic and northeast. So again, check ahead before you head to the airport. Make sure your flights are running on time. Now, leaving SRQ today... Not, shouldn't be a problem at all. We've got that big ridge of high pressure in control of our weather, and that's actually going to keep our forecast very mild and very tranquil throughout the next seven days, as a matter of fact. Highs each day should reach the upper 70s or the lower 80s. We'll have quite a bit of sunshine, light winds with maybe just a little bit of a breeze at times. Overall, looks like a pretty nice first week of December here across the Sun Coast. Stay tuned to SNN, your Sun Coast News Network, for the very latest with your forecast. You can tune in 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the channels listed there on your screen. Have a good Tuesday, everyone.